uh, this is right M shade welcome to my youtube channel uh, the, today the discussion of our topic is the warehouse automation and the things are the instrument used to automate the warehouse now the concept of the warehousing is to maximize the use of technology and to go towards the automation and to reduce the manual interference because manual manual interference can have the errors like here we have like eight things that are used for warehouse automation so let's discuss from first barcodes and barcode scanner rfids wireless radio data terminal synchronized wires picture lights smart cards magnetic steps vn system thank you let's go we're gonna discuss only today um uh, the about uh, you know barcodes is very critical for all of you know what to know about the bar okay let's discuss about one of the key and important things in the automation of the warehouses barcodes and barcode scanners a barcode is a machine readable code that identifies at minimum the product manufacturer and stock keeping unit so there may you need to note in that number one point that the barcode at least give have give you the information about the product manufacturer and the sku so other thing good thing is in that it it will continue to coexist with other methods of data scanning such as rfids because the barcodes labels are very inexpensive compared to the rfid tags most rfid labels have barcodes outside of their tag for use of the with either systems so for precaution when we use the rfids we use the barcodes along with them so it's very cheap in comparison with rfids rfid is expensive a very common standard of barcode is universal product code ucp one type of which is shown below okay this one like 12 digits and no get to the next picture it's called barcode scanner you scan it it's it's a device and the you know laser go to the barcode and it reads the data so we can see the person you know person scanning the barcode he's scanning the medicine barcode so we understand this one let's go to the other two things about the barcodes you know there are two things like serial number and barcode so let's go for the barcodes and barcode scanners here we're going to discuss more about the barcodes barcode scanners is i've shown you in the last slide it's it's a device with you know throw the laser and you know it get information from the label okay let's discuss about the barcode standards in last slide we discussed there are like 12 you know ucp universal product code that is is a standard which have like 12 barcodes bar 12 digits barcodes okay it can be more than that it can be like it can go up to 30 it can go up to a store you know first look at the first picture that is 1d barcode or one dimension barcode the one dimension barcode you know is it can you know store up to maximum 30 characters and it can be digits or it can be like alphabets like abc so these all the length width and the sizes and in the white spaces all these are characters either they are digits either they are uh, numbers so this is 1d barcode and now we have a latest uh, 2d barcode 2d barcode is you know it has you can store a lot of information that and you can you can uh, scan it horizontally and vertically so uh, it can 2d barcode it can store up to 3000 characters so it's very beneficial you can have a lot of data even you can put the serial number of any product so let's discuss what's the difference between a serial number and the barcode so a lot of people are confused like what is the serial number and what is the barcode they're two different things serial number is assigned to each individual individual product in order to distinguish the product from all other the serial number is sometimes only used for warranty control and sometimes used for both warranty control and for version control so it is 
uh, you mean to say a unique ID like for example you're producing like five thousand laptops and each have a different uh, serial number and there is mostly used for the warranty uh, number second a, f a format of uh, storing information will be electrically scanned by manual and automatic means the barcode I'm talking about the barcode so they can be you can scan the barcodes barcodes uh, are, are you know for uh, storing information for like sales and for you know warehousing all these stuff barcode contains information about the product like price weight of the product date of the manufacturing expiry name of the manufacturer barcode is allowed by an international institute set up for this purpose every product has unique barcode all over the world this you need to remember so you you hope you understand the difference uh, there's an important concept we're gonna discuss and in, in, in this slide so we're gonna define the barcodes are often badge processed according to the apex dictionary 16th edition batch processing as it relates to the computer processing is a computer technique in which the transactions are accumulated and pressed together so this whenever you are preparing epics are some other things this concept you need to remember what is the batch processing i'll give you the concept how it works like this is a very you know important concept uh, if in a lot of questions you can be asked on that for example we purchase like 500 units of school bags from a company all of them having the barcodes you create a purchase order of 500 school bags you put this and put this information in your ERP like you're purchasing 500 bags and there's a PO against that and you're gonna put it into your WMS our ERP and you know when the information went inside the ERP and now you're gonna scanning the units you scan 500 units maybe it takes 20 minutes for example after 20 minutes when all the barcoding will be complete then you then the information will appear in the ERP or in your database software that 500 units are received during that time like for example if you're in 300 or 400 scanning this information you know uh, is not shown in in the database the, uh, it's a very minute thing you need to understand that it's it's very cost effective in comparison I if I give you an example what is what is you know this is the batch processing what is the live processing like red R if you go to red R it is, is is the live processing ATM machines you go for the ATM you get the transactions but this is a batch processing technique like you down you scan 500 units and then you press that you have received the units then this appear to your system so hope you understand this is a little you know concept to understand